there. How are you today? Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be reading Mother Earth and Her Children, a Quilted Fairy Tale by Sybil von Olfers. These pictures in this book are just the sweetest pictures you've ever seen. They really do look quilted. I'm not sure if they would act if it was actually a quilted storybook or not originally, but it's just so sweet. I think you're gonna love it. Ready? Okay. Wake up, wake up, my children dear. Spring is coming. Spring is near. Sleepy children open their eyes. They stretch and yawn with soft, slow smiles. All are quick and ever ready to sew spring clothes. Their hands are steady. With needles, scissors, spools of thread, they measure and cut full steam ahead. And when the children's clothes are done, kind Mother Earth admires each one. Yet since there are still chores aplenty, they dust and scrub, no hands are empty. Brushes and colors are set to go to paint the beetles, see how they glow. And when fair spring arrives on time, a merry group soon comes alive. Ladybugs, lilies, tall blades of grass emerge on the earth in a joyous mass. Deep in the woods, all cloaked in green, flowers blossom. What a wondrous scene. A violet hides behind a tree, scared by a snail, so strange to see. Beside the brook, those earthly tots skip among forget-me-nots. They swarm the meadow like little bees, dance with dandelions, play among reeds. Beetles and butterflies delight in the day, if only the summer would not fade away. But autumn comes, the storm clouds burst, and rush the tots home to good Mother Earth. This is what autumn looks like at my house. Do your leaves turn colors like this? Now off to bed, my little ones. Sweet dreams until the next year comes. says, Mother Earth and her children.
the end. Isn't that just a cute little book? I know it's a little funny to be thinking about spring and summer already because we just celebrated winter solstice and we're about to celebrate Christmas. But I thought it was a fun little book and it kind of circles all the way through the whole year, doesn't it? The pictures in this, this was illustrated by Siglin Schoen Smith and the translation was by Zach, Zach, Jack Zipes. Blah, 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 blah. Little tongue time. Well, thank you so much for reading with me. I'm so happy to see you again and I can't wait to see you soon, okay? I love you.